Hey guys, welcome back to a really fun tutorial. Today we're gonna to be using Dolly to come up with an idea to create in Blender. So basically I'm gonna type in a prompt of my choice and then we're gonna hop into Blender and try to create it based on the images that Dolly has given us. So let's go ahead and come up with something really cool here. Um, and then we're probably gonna either do just a short animation or we'll just do a, a rendered image. More than likely we'll probably do a rendered image. So let's go ahead and think of a cool prompt here to type in. Um, I'm thinking of doing geometric city during sunset um, made of glass. And let's just see what we get here. Let's go ahead and generate this. I think I have like five credits left. So we're gonna go ahead and generate some images through Dolly here. And then we're gonna try to recreate something similar in Blender. Um, this is pretty cool, but this isn't exactly what I was looking for. These are really, really cool images though that Dolly has come up with for us. Um, let me try this again and try to reword this. How about blocky city cube? Again, trying to kind of come up with something simple that's not gonna to take too long to, uh, to generate in Blender here, or sorry, to create from scratch in Blender here. Dolly is doing all the generating for us for our, for our idea here. So let's go ahead and see what it comes up with this time. Super curious to see how this comes out. You never really know until it's fully loaded. Um, but I've gotten some really, really cool stuff in the past. So maybe if we don't get anything cool here, we'll go back and look at some of my previously generated things. Holy crap. <laughs> this came out really, really cool. Um, here's the first one. This looks just so cool. Um, these We could definitely recreate something like this in Blender. Wow, look at that. Look at the stuff that it's able to create. Again, this goes back into what is an original artwork, what is not, but but these are really, really cool. Um, I actually really like the first one a lot, and I think we could totally recreate this in Blender. Um, so I'm gonna download this image, and then we're gonna try our best to recreate it as closely as possible. Um, I think it came out really cool. It's very red, very orange, very vibrant, um, but again, this is, this is what we're gonna be creating. This was the prompt, so let's go ahead and take this and see what we can do with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize Dolly. I am gonna open up Blender, and I am just going to uh, kind of use this new document here. I'm going to save this to the desktop, and I'm gonna save this as Dolly um, Abstract Art. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these kind of go side by side here so we can kind of check out our uh, our dolly generated image here and then create something right here so the very first thing i'm going to do before we really get into the project is just set up our dimensions i'm going to do 1920 by 1920 so we have a nice square image to work with i'm also going to minimize my face so you guys can actually see what i'm doing on the screen here um, and then maybe we'll just make this image a little bit smaller on the right hand side here so we have more room to work with in blender um, I'm also going to go to my camera and I'm just going to set it up on kind of a side view here. So I'm going to first reset everything to zero, go on that X rotation and then bring this back on the Y axis like that so that it's kind of facing the center of our scene here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and snap the camera view, switch over to cycles because we're going to be using some crazy glass objects here. Go to my rendered view here and I'm going to add in an HDRI. Now I actually have an HDRI that should be a sunset in here somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and find that. That should be in my HDRI folder. Uh, let's see, here is a sunset right here. Now this isn't very red, so we might have to find a different one. Um, this is a 4K um, sunset scene. As you can see, it's a beach scene. So this is pretty close. Maybe what we can do is actually face the camera towards that area over there but I'm actually gonna show you guys a really cool trick in order to do that. I'm gonna head over to our shading tab, our world properties, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in a mapping node and a texture coordinate node. And what I'm gonna be doing basically is snapping to my camera, and I'm actually gonna plug all this in as follows. So you guys can see that, yep, you guys can see that. And I'm just gonna adjust the Z rotation until our sunset is basically right behind our scene. That looks perfect. And I'm just gonna give this cube a glass shader so we can actually see what this might start to look like. I'm gonna give it an IOR of two and turn that roughness down a bunch. And already we have a nice glass cube in our scene. So we're already kind of setting up the scene here. Um, and I'm actually gonna try to recreate this almost exactly the way that it is seen. Now the edges of these cube, I'm just gonna give it just the slightest little bevel. I'm gonna hold shift while I'm adjusting this bevel. 
as you can see we have just the slightest beveled edge right there and I think I'm gonna shade this smooth and yeah, kind of ruined it uh, let me see if I can turn on auto smoothing here there we go auto smooth and shade smooth and for our segments I'll just give this maybe three segments um, our roughness I'm gonna turn that all the way down and I'm also gonna add in a floor plane underneath everything and the reason I'm gonna do this is because I think we'll be able to adjust this later to actually get um, the desired result um, I do want this to be below our camera view so I'm just gonna kind of put it down there and then I'm going to start piecing together these cubes just like they are in the um, in the dolly render over here. But before I do that, let me adjust our perspective to an 85 millimeter lens, and I'll bring us further back on the Y axis. I'm also going to delete this light since we have our HDRI because we do not need that anymore. And I think I'm just going to try to start piecing this scene together. Um, it looks like I'm going to put this down here and kind of bring it back towards the Y axis because it looks like we have some cubes down there. I'm also gonna scale this down a bit and I'm just gonna be shift D to duplicate these. Like I'm just gonna be duplicating them over and over again. Um, and I'm just gonna be placing them how I think I see fit. Uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, I'm probably gonna go into solid view for a second, duplicate that again, bring it back on the Y axis, snap back again, um, go to rendered view. And we're kind of gonna be double checking this as we go. Now you're probably wondering how I'm gonna get that kind of red, um, that red result. I'm probably gonna do that in the compositor or in Photoshop once I'm all done. But for now, I'm just gonna to continue to duplicate this and kind of set up the scene as I see it uh, in front of me here. Again, this is kind of eyeballing. Um, a lot of these cubes might not be the exact same size, but I'm just kind of going for what I think looks best. So this one looks like it's even further back that way. And then there's another one that's even further back behind that. Again, we could overlay this image exactly if we wanted to, but I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm just shift D duplicating these. They look pretty good so far. This one looks like it's a little bit further back on the Y axis. That looks good. And again, guys, we're kind of just creating this abstract art just based on our image over here. And I think it looks really, really cool so far. We can also click on the glass here and adjust the IOR to whatever um, desired look we want. As you can see, when I adjust that IOR, we get a completely different result. And again, we could also adjust the roughness, but I don't want to do that at this point. I think it looks really cool as is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue to duplicate these. And I'm going to bring this one forward. And already I'm, I'm loving the way this is looking. I'm gonna go to my side view and I think I'm gonna duplicate this a few more times and just kind of put some of these in the background here so that they're just behind our scene. That looks awesome. And as you can see, we just have this kind of matrix of cubes. But again, I do think this is gonna look cool. Let me switch back to our render view. This looks really, really awesome. Um, we might wanna even give ourselves just a little bit of um, space underneath of it that looks pretty good um, and then let's go ahead and hide our floor plane and just see what the difference is here I actually like it more without I think it looks pretty good um, so far I'm pretty happy with this and I actually think it's pretty darn close to what we had before for our dolly image so I'm probably gonna go ahead and try to get it closer to that actual red sunset picture so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go to the the internet and I'm gonna to go to unsplash.com and I'm gonna type in red sunset and let's just find something we really like I really like this one right here so I'm gonna download that for free unsplash is a great resource and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in an image image as planes and I'm gonna import this sunset picture and as you can see there it is right there I'm gonna kind of pull it behind our scene kind of pull it way back. I'm gonna scale it up. And then I'm gonna show you guys a really cool trick onto how to make this an emissive material. So I'm gonna go over to the shading tab and with our plane selected, I'm gonna go and hop over to the object properties. And then I'm just gonna make this into basically an emission shader. Um, in order to do that, we are going to add in a mix shader node, plug that in right here. And then we're gonna add emission onto the other side. And now, we should, it should be working. 
Oh, I'm, I apologize, guys. You have to plug the color into the emission, and you have to delete this stuff. There we go. Now it should have an emission. There we go. Now we can adjust the emission strength. I, I apologize. This is how you do it. You just need the material output, the emission, and then you just plug the color right here into your background. And then one more thing I want to do is add in a hue and saturation value right here. So we can adjust the hue and saturation of our background. And I'm just going to ever so slightly adjust it to be a little bit more red. Or if it's not going to let me. Doesn't seem to want to let me. 0.55. No. All right, maybe that's not going to let me. We could do this in Photoshop, but that's fine. I'm, I'm happy with the way it is right now. And again, you guys can adjust the strength to whatever you want. And then we're going to go over to our camera and turn the pass part out up. And let's just see what we have so far with our 3D render. It's looking pretty close to the original image. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Again, it's kind of fun to just mess around with this and play with different images. So I'm going to go back to Unsplash and let's just go ahead and see if we can find another image that's very nice. Let's go ahead and scroll through here. This one's pretty cool too. This one's kind of close to what we're looking for. Let me download that. All right download there we go and let's go ahead and swap this image out and see what we get where is our image there it is um, that looks pretty close to what we we're looking for and again we can change the perspective of the background plane to whatever we like I think that looks pretty good I might even raise the saturation a little bit whoa maybe not that much maybe 1.1 1.01, 1.05, that looks pretty good. Cool, I think that looks really, really awesome, guys. Um, again, we can adjust our camera here. Right now, we're on a perspective view with an 85 millimeter lens. We can zoom in even more, or we could use a um, panoramic lens, but this is gonna give us a completely different effect that we do not want. So I'm gonna stick to the perspective, go back to the layout, and then I'm gonna set up my um, project to render. I think I'm gonna do 300 samples. Again, I'm really happy with this. It's not exactly like the AI image, but again, this just goes to show you kind of how you could create something like this. So now let me go to my light path settings, and I'm just gonna set everything to two for now, and then we're gonna go ahead and mess with the transmission, kind of bring that up back up to five or six, maybe seven. That looks pretty good. And we'll just bump up that total a little bit. This looks great. Denoising, we'll just do optics. Um, be careful with this fast GI approximation. It can hurt the image. Caustics, we don't need. And everything else looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and render this image out and we'll just see what we get. And it should be a fairly big size image. So this is already looking so cool. Um, again, guys, this is like completely abstract art that we've created just based on Dolly um, and just kind of some basic shapes in Blender. So this is just looking really, really cool. And I just thought this would make for a great piece of content to kind of show what is possible. And it looks like we have about a second or two left on our render. And that was about a 20 second render and it is looking awesome. It actually looks very, very clear. Um, and what's really cool about this is that we were able to just create this from scratch using a dolly render. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a good time making this. Um, again, we'll definitely do more like this if you guys like these style tutorials. So just let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, feel free to join the Discord, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and also consider supporting me on Patreon if you guys want access to this actual file. Um, I will go ahead and include that in the Google Drive that is linked to my Patreon supporter page. So if you guys support me with the right tier, you'll actually have access to all of my tutorial files. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope this was something that you enjoyed watching and you actually found the content useful and exciting. So I will hope to see you in the next tutorial. Take it easy.